Hello and welcome to Winslow Academy. So in this video we're going to look at how we can make a simple file encryptor in Python. So we have the code right here which we walk through together uh, and then we simply have a text here called plain text of text where I have written a little matches, message which is the one that we're going to encrypt and also decrypt. So basically what we'll be using is the Fernet uh, library and you can go visit them online and read more about it. They have a lot of like complex methods that you can use for encryption for a lot of different purposes. But what we're going to use it for today is just a simple file encryption. So nothing uh, further complex. But if we go and look at the, the methods that we will be needing in this project, we will first have to generate a key. So that is the key that we will be uh, using to encrypt our file and also decrypt it, of course. And of course, I also mean if we lose this particular key, we can of course not decrypt the file because we need it in order to uh, decrypt an encrypted file. So the first method is simply just return a generated key. And what we'll be doing with this is that we'll be saving this key in our uh, key file, which is going to be called encrypted key dot key. And this file will be created automatically when we run the script, which we'll do uh, in a few minutes. Next off, we need to uh, save the file, as I just mentioned. That is what we're doing here, so that will create our file and save it. And then we, of course, also need to load the key that we have saved when we need to, for example, uh, either encrypt something new or to decrypt something that we have already encrypted. And again, this is just a very simple method. You see two lines here. We simply just open the particular key file, which is our encrypted key.key. .key. Then we read uh, from the file and just return the value that is in the file. So nothing further complex here either. Uh, the next method is the one where we're actually going to encrypt a given file. So that will be the one where we encrypt from our plain text. Here we will uh, give it an input file, an output file and a key of course. And if we look at these three parameters, we will go down here and see the method. So the encrypt file will take an input file. The input file is the plain text of text. That is the only file you need to have created uh, as default when you run the script. Uh, and it's in here that you will have your plain text. So here we have with Academy Python project. That is going to be the first input, the input file. Then we have the encrypted file. That is, of course, uh, the file that will be storing our encrypted uh, message. And then we need the key, which is the key that we just uh, saw will be saved in the, uh, in the uh, encryption key that key file. So uh, we will take this input file. We will open it so that it's the plain text, read the message. Then we will take the um, content and uh, use this in order for us to encrypt it. So again, we'll use this uh, Fernet uh, library where we'll just use their encryption method. Again, you can either dive into it directly from the library or you can go visit them online as you saw before and read about how this actually works. But for now, we will just uh, go uh, along and know that we will just take the data from our input file and encrypt this. Next, we need to save this somewhere. So here we will be opening our output file, which is the encrypted file.txt. And then we'll just write to that, that file. So very simple uh, method here. The complex stuff here is actually where we are encrypting uh, the data, but that is being handled by the library, which is pretty nice. Next off, we of course also need to be able to decrypt the file because if we have encrypted something, we can't read it because it will no longer be in, in plain text. So in the decrypt file, we'll do similar stuff as we do in the encrypt uh, file. But the change here is of course that we'll be decrypting. So again, we'll be needing an input file, an output file and a key. So the input file here will now no longer be the plain text, but actually our encrypted file because that is the file that we go, we want to uh, decrypt. So we will open this file, read the data, save it in this uh, variable encrypted data. Then again, we will use the Fernet library. And now this we will use the decrypt method to decrypt the encrypted message. And of course, we'll do this with the same key that we used to encrypt it. Next off, we will uh, open our output file. So this is our decrypted file.txt where we'll simply just write the now decrypted content to this file so we have it uh, in a separate file compared to our plain text. And that's basically what this, uh, uh, all the method that this little project needs. 
and then we are ready to run it. So before I run it, we'll just quickly look at the order in which this will happen. So first off, we'll generate a key, and this key we will save in our key file, which we have named encrypted key dot key. That will be saved here using the method we have already talked about. Next off, we need to define our input file. That is the plain text.txt that is already created here. You need to have this file created before you can run the project, but the rest of these files will be created automatically as you run uh, this particular script. Then we have to define our encrypted file because we need the name of it and the decrypted file as well. The last thing that we will do is to run the encrypt method, which take these three parameters. Then we'll just have a, a little print statement just to see in the console what is actually happening. And second off, we'll run the decrypt file, which again also takes uh, three different parameters. But of course, uh, the input values will be different because here we'll decrypt from the encrypted file instead of the plain text. And again, we'll just do a simple print. Let's try run this. And as you see, we have just created a few files here. So three files were created as we ran this. So we have the decrypted file.txt, encrypted file.txt, and encryption key.key. And then we have in the console two lines, which is the one we saw right here, where it just says that plain text of text encrypted to encrypted file, and the encrypted file is decrypted to the decrypted file. So if we look at the key, it's simply just a one-liner saving the key that was generated, which has now been used to encrypt and decrypt the file. If we look at the decrypted file, we'll see uh, oh, encrypt. I mean, if we look at the encrypted file, we'll see that we can no longer read this because it's not in plain text anymore. And that is, of course, uh, because we have uh, encrypted this. So this message will not be readable for anyone if we send this, for example, uh, online over a mail and some malicious person or a third party get access to it, this, they will not be able to read this. But if they use our encryption key, to decrypt it, they will get the decrypt file, which states Winslow Academy Python project, and that is the same text as we saw in our plain text right here. So this is a simple and an easy way for you to make a file encryptor. Of course, you can extend upon this by uh, instead of having it generate all this by uh, automatically, you can have it uh, take. Uh, input values such that you can uh, on the fly run this and tell it what to do instead of just having it predefined right here. And of course, you can also uh, have it using uh, diff uh, different keys uh, such that it uses a public and a private key instead of the same uh, semantic key when it do the encryption. Because the issue with this is of course that in order for anybody to decrypt your message, they will need the key, so you will need to find a way to transfer this key to them if it's not. Um, a message that you will only decrypt yourself. So this was all for today. See you next time on Winslow Academy.